What's up guys, it's Sean. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a microphone noise gate uh, that is pretty much active in all applications instead of having to set a noise gate for every application by itself. Um, when I say noise gate, I mean sound threshold for your microphone. So this is just going to make it easier. So as you can see here, when I stop talking, it'll close the gate. And then when I talk, it'll open. All right, so that just reduces background noise. And so the way you're gonna do this is you're going to download this program called Noise Gator. And download that first. And then you're going to go to VB Audio. And you're gonna go to this homepage and then you're gonna go to download. You scroll down, click on virtual audio cable and you're going to download it right here, the driver. And you're going to install that driver. Once you install this driver, you have to restart your computer and it's going to come up. Well, once you restart, come back and we will go to the next step. All right, so once you have both of those installed, you're going to run Noise Gator. And you're going to run your sound manager, sound device manager. And you'll see that in here you have a new cable output and noise gator is just going to be the thing that controls your sound gate. So whatever microphone you're using, you're going to set that as your input. I'm using a blue snowball and then your output's going to be the cable input. And then your threshold is going to be whatever sounds best. The way I tested it is I talked and when it said open, I, well, actually I just had it play through my speakers and then I listened to myself and then just set the threshold based on how I sounded. And then the attack time, the lowest you could set it is five and the lowest you could set the release time is 10. So set it to the lowest you can. And then I have my microphone boost on negative 10 because it sounds nice right there. And then I have this program to auto start on Windows startup and auto activate on the start of the program. So the way you're going to have the program start when Windows starts is you're going to go to your files. You're going to go to C, users, John, well, whatever your name is, then app data, roaming, and then uh, where is it? Microsoft, then Windows, Start Menu, Programs, and Startup. And then you're going to paste a shortcut to your program right there. And then every time you start up Windows, the program will start and you will have your microphone going through the cable output as specified here. And then you're just going to use this as your microphone in all of your applications. So right now in OBS, my microphone is um, set to this. So this is what you're hearing me through. You're not hearing me through my blue snowball. As you can see, my audio goes through both, but this one has the noise gate on it and it also has the volume negative boost. And that's how you do it. So now when you join Skype or cord or anything like that, your microphone will automatically have a noise gate. And I use this for streaming mostly because I could play it through my Elgato and it, it's helpful. So hope this helps you guys. This is how you set a noise gate or pretty much, you know, universally in Windows. And I'll see you guys next time.